Hi all, it's Piotr. It's this time of the year to make a movie about current status of my collection of the comic books. So let's get started. As you can see, now I have the X-Men for one, X-Men for two. It's always darkest before the dawn, before Claremont run. New Mutants, Omnibuses, and still next year we'll have the missing Uncanny X-Men for five. That should be here instead of those trailer bags. Great X-Men storylines here. Here we have Generation X, next epic. Great period in current times. Messiah Complex, Second Coming. Of course, Astonishing X Men. Counter X. Well, okay. From this year, Avenger vs. X Men Omnibus. I changed it from OIC. To Omnibus. I have the Complete Generation X in single issues, X Factor, or one complete, Mutant X, all the Bishop storylines. Wolverine by Larry Hama, my favorite run, I have complete run of his. Then of course Captain Retain, Excalibur, Vol 1, Vol 2. Then we come to Spider-Man, Thor Lines. Spider-Man by Roger Stern, my favorite run. As you can see I have Kevin Hunt in couple versions, Maximum Carnage in omnibus format, and I love the Rose Persona, so I got rid of all, all issues that was possible to know his story. On next shelf, we have continuation of Rose Saga, Spider-Man by McFarlane, Spider-Man Hall Clone Saga, one of the top three runs in my opinion, that is by Straczynski, in Amazing Spider-Man. One of the best Avengers by Hickman. Now we are waiting for Fantastic Four. Well, four of Heroes return. Immortal Hark, very good storyline. Next shelf, we have Doctor Strange by Aaron. Wolverine and X-Men by Aaron, a new chapter in Mutant history, House of X, Power of X, all the OJC that are possible to buy for this for now, all the way to x Lives of Wolverine, x Lives of Wolverine. Then here we have again X-Men by Chris Claremont. I'm still trying to buy Vol 2, but with the similar cover, we have it also in this format. X Factor by David Vol 2. Epics, even if they I had it already in only with format, I love those this period. So in February, I think will be the next Legacies after. This is so cool. 
Generation X doubles. Flint Flintstones, very good storyline. And my favorite, Tail Avengers. I got it for good purpose for the children from Ukraine. Money spent for that, so really, really fine. Here we have something I got during the pandemic times. So X-Men, Giant Empire, Omnibus. So that's books, normal books. X-Men and Avengers. Something that helped me in my gathering of X-Men single issues and Spider-Man official index. This is really good way to gather issues and know what get expect inside. Gallery editions. Spider-Man the Wedding album is cool, really cool. Here we have trading cards. So really cool to have it in my collection. Then we go to Avengers time. I really love Galactic Storm. As you can see I have it in two versions. I think this is my favorite run on Avengers, especially the Gathering by Bob Harris. Midnight Suns. And the whole story that is beyond that, so I'm really happy. Two shelves empty. During this year I sold a lot of stuff, so maybe something about Spider-Man and X-Men, but I don't know what, if I have almost everything I ever wanted. We will see. Next we move to DC section. Crisis on Living the Earth. Companion and main storyline Wonder Woman War of the Gods Omnibus by George Perez. All storylines about all DC that I could find in Wikipedia that events storylines that should I should get so I have them. Zero hour in omnibus format in trade paperback. The complete Monarch saga. Armageddon 2001, Inferno, etc. Here we have Green Arrow by Kevin Smith and the Archer's Quest. Very good Infinity Crisis 52, great storyline, Finite Crisis Omnibus, Green Lanterns, Final Night. Day of Judgment, Green Lantern by Jeff Jones, great three omnibuses, Flashpoint, Aquaman by Jeff Jones, now we move to the Superman, Superman as you can see I had it, I had single issues in all this, it's from the fake death of Luthor, coming back as the brain in cloning body all the way here our main storylines about Eradicator everything that was very important about how what Lex Luthor is doing and how is Superman going on Brainiac trilogy and of course all the way to the fall of Metropolis Battle of the Metropolis and how Luthor, in front of Judge, was able to defend himself, that it was not his fault. Then, of course, we have four hardcovers by Byrne, Superman the Exile. So, all that is between, 
I have in those all, all the main store lines I have here, so I'm really happy. Now we have the death of Superman and return. Now 30th anniversary in OJC, and of course in trade paperbacks. I have the President Luthor, really good story, and all those trade paperbacks from the past of Superman. As you can see, the Panic in the Sky, the Death of Clark Kent, Dark Knight over Metropolis, they say it's Luthor Brain, time and time again. The original Eradicator. The Trial of Superman, Superman Blue. In two versions we can say because there's a transform. Superman Lois Lane. The 25th anniversary wedding album Superman City of Tomorrow Iron at Wars Batman Year One Batman Nightfall Trilogy Omnibus Road to No Man's Land No Man's Land Under the Red Hood Batman Harsh and Rap Go Go Power Rangers, really good album. Super Force. Now we have Spawn Compendium 1 to 4 and New Beginnings 201 2006, I think. Sandman, Fire for Vendetta, Camelot, Polish stuff. I'm really happy that we have Batman Nightfall, a couple of left to be published. Spectacular Spider Man Omnibus. That is not in English version yet, so it's really good. J. De Mateis, uh, Sema. I really have really happy that there is nowhere in the world that is published. X-Men Milestones in Polish and Gideon Falls Omnibus only in Poland in Polish version it's done in Omnibus so really happy and here we have also Polish stuff Age of Apocalypse Astonishing X-Men New X-Men Runaways Uncanny X-Force and other collections. And now the grand final. Cog and Dagger Omnibus New Warriors. One, two om Omnibuses. The Ultimate Spider Man. One, Ultimate Young Avengers Omnibus by Henberg and Chung. The Spectacular Spider Man. For one omnibus, Helsing, House of X, Pyre of X figures, and Beautiful Storm. Batman Harsh, Absolute. Green Lantern Sensor Cops War. Green Lantern Beard, Absolute Identity Crisis, Absolute Wildcats, Polish Good Stuff, Kaiko Kokos, Funky Cobalt, Schninkel, X Men by TM Semig, Spider Man by TM Semig, Batman, and Superman. Nightfall period and that of Superman to the coming back. Punisher by TM Semig, Polish translated Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for one and two. Deadpool Cable 
Rudix, Potent Geeks and some collections and polish. Then we move to X-Men 2099, X-Man 1-2 older single issues that were never published in hardcovers, X-Force single issues, so I have them all. Here of course two of single issues that I really like, X-Men 1 and branded size X-Men. And here additionally you can see Certificate of Authenticity Amazing Spider-Man 55. And what is at the West box sets? Blackest Night and Crisis. I really waited to buy them and I have them. I'm really, really happy. That is all for 2020.